Matt Canning here with BodybuildingPro.com. I am here at the 2012 Toronto Pro Super Show in Toronto, Ontario, in Canada. I'm here with Canada's IFBB uh, Bikini Pro, Lee Brandt. Now tell me something, Lee, about uh, the contest. I was there in the front row and I thought it looked really good up there. It was a pretty steep class and I thought, I personally felt that you looked like you were a first call-out competitor, but uh, you ended up placing a ninth right at the end of the show. And uh, how did you feel about that? I did, yeah, I placed ninth. Um, I feel really good, you know, I came into the show, everyone wants to win the show. Um, but I just came in, I wanted to place in the top ten. I knew it was going to be a tough class and there was a lot of amazing uh, physiques there and I was up against some tough girls. So, yeah, it was a great overall experience for me. Now, I, was, I actually follow the men's bodybuilding a lot, but lately I've started to, talk, started to talk a little bit more with the women. I actually think that the female classes this year were some of the most competitive. How did you feel about your class? Was this one of the stronger lineups that you'd seen in, in bikini this year? Um, yeah, uh, you know what? Every, I mean, we're pros, so every show is going to be competitive, and uh, everyone always brings their best to stage. So, yeah, it, it's, it's always a competitive class, always a competitive show. No, yeah, as I've said, Lee, I, I might not have the best eye for, for the female side. I'm, I'm kind of learning it as I go. I still, I was right up there, uh, like, like I said, in front, and I thought that maybe you should have been in that first call out. And uh, placing ninth, I don't want to say, it's good to make the top ten. It's always good, and it's, it's really good to be in the first call out. But uh, was there anything specific that you think that you uh, would have been able to improve upon, or maybe for the next show where you'd, where you'd uh, go up in the placings? I mean, I thought that you looked great, but uh, what do you feel about that? Well, you, you know, overall presentation um, is a key for competing. Uh, stage presence is key, and I feel like I bombed my stage presentation in the morning show, I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't hit all my poses. I was super nervous when I got up there. So um, I think that kind of might have not helped me very much. But you know what? I went back in the evening, and I nailed it in the evening show, and I felt really good about it. And I think that helped me move um, back up into uh, the top ten. So, um, yeah, you know what? I knew that I screwed up in my stage presentation, but I, I made up for it in the evening and in my call out. So. Well, sometimes you have to kind of work the the nerves out a little bit, and you, you might start off nervous. But I, well, I, I actually uh, I was most impressed with your like as you said, and you did really well at the finals there. And you can pick up some spots, and it looks like you did. Yeah. Um, in terms of the bikini categories, now they're all a bit different: figure, physique, uh, bodybuilding. What do you feel the importance is for beauty in terms of the face? Uh, if a woman is more beautiful. Uh, do you think that that plays, uh, it judges human beings? Uh, does it play a role in the decision, do you think? Ah, you'd have to ask the judges that. I'm not too sure. Um, you know what? Everyone is so gorgeous. So, you know. Um, there are a lot of, uh, yeah, it's definitely one where the better looking women do show up, but they don't go in the. Yeah, and I mean, we don't always look like we do on stage, you know, like hair, makeup, everything, rock and bods, it all goes hand in hand, so. Everyone looks so good. So. Well, that's for the lights also. If you you need to under those harsh lights, you need to have all the makeup on to make it look. Of course, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, in your time with uh, outside of the actual competition. I know you you uh, were at the Mutant Booth and and uh, also you have Body by Brand on Facebook, your business with your husband Dean. Tell me a little bit about uh, everything else outside of the competition. I was at uh, Inside Fitness Booth. Um, I just signed with them as their for very first sponsored athlete, and I was at the Mutant Booth. Um, and yes, I have my company Body by Brand. We're um, a huge team in BC um, for amateur um, competitors. Uh, we have a few pros on board, but um, mostly amateur. So yeah, um, our company has just uh, skyrocketed the past uh, year, year and a half, and that's kept us really busy. So outside of training for myself and my own shows, I'm working hard bringing all my clients and they motivate me, so <laughs> it keeps me going. Uh, I think that you're very proportional and that you photo very well. You get that feedback a lot from the people taking pictures of you that, that you really look good and you're very photogenic. Yeah, um, yeah. a lot of photographers say that I'm very photogenic, yeah. They like, they like my look. <laughs> now, do you have any other photo shoots coming up with uh, Inside Fitness at the moment? Anything scheduled? Um, nothing scheduled while I'm here, but I did just do a photo shoot with um, Arturo Prada. He's actually located in Toronto. Um, the photos are on my Facebook and they were awesome. Uh, and he was so much fun to shoot with, too. Um, I think, um, actually I am doing a photo shoot with Pink Elephant also at the end of July, so I'm sure those will be used in Inside Fitness as well. They're doing a lot of promotions with me right now, and I'm doing a, a lot more, I'm going to start doing more writing for them, so it's going to be a good year. Yeah. And uh, Fitmark, uh, one of your other sponsors, tell us a little bit about your time with them. Um, yeah, Fitmark approached me um, a little while back. Um, I just signed with them. It's a new launch of um, fitness bags for all fitness enthusiasts. It's like the top end fitness bags. So this is the Gucci of our industry. Um, so you guys got to check them out. They're on special right now too, 25% off while it launches. So it's a good deal. 
Well, that's fantastic. It's good to hear. Now, in terms of the, everybody wanting to get a hold of you and getting a hold of you on Facebook, anywhere else for that matter, how can? What's the ideal way to somebody can approach you, contact you? Um, you know what? Uh, subscribe to me on Facebook. I can't accept any more friend requests, so subscribe to me and keep me up to date. Um, if you were at the expo this weekend, please tag me in your photos. I love keeping in touch with everybody and running into you again. So I'll yeah. post mine as well. Uh, yeah. Any other final words to say to everybody? Uh, thanks so much to all my sponsors and to Ron Hashi for the Toronto Pro Super Show. It was a great experience again this year, and I'll be back next year. I, I want to say that uh, Lee was, and again, I might, I'm not really so much of a judge uh, of the female side yet. I followed men's for a long time, but I thought she was looking really good. And uh, to be honest, I thought that she, it's great to make the top 10, but uh, I was uh, expecting her in that first call out, but uh, it, she still looked great. And I think that we're going to see her more and more and uh, as one of Canada's few bi uh, bikini pros. So everybody here at the Tro 2012 Toronto Pro Super Show in Toronto, Ontario in Canada with bikini pro Lee Brand. Thank you.